Hey guys, uh, I may have spoke too soon. I did find a small leak. I don't know if I bumped a vacuum line or if I just didn't see it before because I was too busy holding the camera. But there was a tiny vacuum leak at the back. And what's happening is there's a loose vacuum line at the back of the intake manifold that runs, I don't know, the AC or something. And that line, probably as loose as it fits, is probably getting blown off when the guy gets under boost because this car has probably five or six pounds of boost. So um, it's not really important, but I thought I would show you guys what one looks like since we caught one. And it's actually a lot easier to see when you use a, uh, a flashlight than just trying to view it by eye. So I'll get a close-up of this if I can. I don't know if you guys can see that, but shoot, no wonder I can't see it. My smoke machine turned off. Give me just a minute. Okay. Sorry, the smoke machine cuts off automatically every couple of minutes or whatever. So when your vacuum leak disappears, that's probably why. There we go. This in the shot's about impossible, but I'm gonna try for you. This line right here it goes in that fitting. You can just barely see that fitting. See that steady stream? There we go. Steady stream of smoke coming out. That's it. It's a pretty good size vacuum leak, actually. It's almost a quarter inch line. And the fitting. fitting sticks on fine now and under vacuum it would be fine but because this car is supercharged that loose hose is not going to cut it it's going to blow off every time you get in a boost so uh sorry i didn't catch that the first time around but that's that